my channel my name's Kim if you're new here welcome I'm a mum of two boys and I love everything seasonal decorating home styling and hauls so if that's something you like to please subscribe to my channel I'm really excited I've got another awesome video for you today I'm decorating the back of the house and the tablescapes we've got a front living room and a a back living room so it's going to be the back living room today the front living room is already up so yeah back living room and i've got a tablescape to do as well so i'm just in the bedroom at the minute um filming this only because the kids are still eating breakfast downstairs and they're going after boxing soon so when they go to boxing i'm going to start cracking on with the decorating but yeah i've got the weather's cool now there was rain last night i'm feeling really cozy i've got a my little pumpkin jumper on all the cozy feel so grab a mug grab a hot chocolate grab any seasonal beverage that you want because let's get cozy let's get decorating hi guys thanks for joining me on my second decorate with me for autumn video i'm going to start this video with the table i'm going to give it a quick wipe down make sure there's no milk cereal crumbs anything that's been left over from breakfast from the two boys this morning and then i can get started decorating so I'm starting off with a table runner. This is new for this year that I picked up from eBay. It's black and orange checkered with pumpkin motifs in the middle and at one at each end. And I just love how it pops off from the black table. So next I'm just laying these lovely wicker rope placemats from Ikea. I love how it gives a little bit of a neutral farmhouse rustic element to the table. These black and white plates are also from Ikea. The white plates with a rim around the edge with a black centre. This centerpiece is from the range, it's got sunflowers, grass, pumpkins and it's got three stands on the top to pop three candles on. These are just three pumpkin shaped candles that I picked up from the range also, I'm just going to pop them on the top. picked up these beautiful autumn glasses from home sense they've got green and orange and gold leaves all around the hand painted and they're so beautiful These napkin rings are also new for this year. I picked these up from Sheen. They're orange and gold maple leaves with crystals on the edges. They're really vibrant and they really pop when they surround a white napkin. This tends to be my go-to napkin style. I'm not very good at doing anything elaborate. I just tend to do the alternate um, creases that make it into a fan and then pop on the napkin ring. I'm not going to show you how to do every single napkin everyone has their own style everyone knows how to do their own napkin rings it's a personal choice it's entirely up to you i'm just showing you what i do mm -hmm. 
this was another great ikea find i picked up this mustard colored jug from ikea for roughly three pound i'm just going to pop in a few little stalks it does look a bit messy here but i do fix it later So here's the finished look. I'm so, so happy with how it's turned out. Now, I know this does look very formal and I do only do this for Sunday dinners or if um, we're having guests around or a special occasion. The tables set out like this, they do get dusty and we are a functioning family of four that does homework, crafts, eats at the table. This is purely to show you how I like to dress my table for autumn. So I'm now moving on to the back living room. I picked up these garlands from the range a few years ago. They do light up. They have little burlap sacks with a battery pack inside and I've got two of them which will pop on each end of the mirror. These throws are from Costco. I picked these up last year. They're beige and they've got like a rusty orangey colour pattern on the front. This is a new sign for this year from the range it says hello pumpkin it's a really good size and i love how it fits snugly into the little alcove there So I'm just swapping out the eucalyptus I normally have in there for some autumn stems. I think I picked these up from a market last year. And then I'm going to pop on a little black riser with a cute little pumpkin on that I picked up in HomeSense. I'm really loving the pumpkin shaped reed diffusers that I've seen in shops this year. I love this one that I bought from Next. It's got a lovely sweet smell without being too overpowering. pick these two small mini reeds up from the range, I pop one on the mirror and I pop one on the glass door behind me. Just finished off the couches with two cushions that I picked up from Sheen last year. They've got little gonks on, little autumn gonks that say happy autumn. So 
here's the final look. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I wanted autumn, but nothing too over the top. I love cozy blankets and candles and lights and to give a feeling of warmth when you walk into the room. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll show you a little bit later on how I get it all cozy with the lights on at night. So as you can see, we've also got two dogs. So along with two dogs and two boisterous boys, everything needs to be functional as well. So here it is at night, really cozy, really chilled. I love how the garland lights up at night, the twinkly lights and all the candles and all the smells. It always feels nice, warm, cozy and inviting and it's just the vibe that I'm looking for. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making them for you and I can't wait to show you the next one. Take care guys, stay safe, bye.